picked you apart, yep. right? Kind of plan preemptive kind of gameplay here. Chic, sh very chic like. Yeah, I will say though, I will say, Seth made Bio Burb switch off of Raster yes. earlier. Uh, demolished him that first game. So let's see how Sego's Raster shapes up against Seth, who currently is the only person to make a Raster player switch off. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> I hate the Ditto. That's fair. This, it, it's the Ditto is very weird because you have to combo a floating character with your floating character. Yeah. It's just like what 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 do I do? So let's see here. Just restart. There's a restart just button for a reason. There's a restart button. Grr. There's a restart button. It's there for a reason. Use it. Grah. Yeah. <laughs> It's it, raster, raster dittos are weird. I don't I don't like it. Same thing why I don't like the running snippy ditto. Floaty character against floaty character. Yeah. It's just very weird. Anyway, I have more fun I had more fun with fleet anyway, so. Even though my raster did better, I've just more fun with fleet. Yeah. But as we hop into this, let's see who is going to have the pleasure of um Moving it on to Grand and taking on Bioburb, who is sitting pretty who up in. Sego, who does Sego lose to? I don't remember. He lost to Bioburb, right? Yeah, they both lost to Bioburb. So they both want a chance at redemption. They both want the redemption. They both want the run back. But we're hopping into this, and like you said earlier, Seth made Raster, uh, not Raster, Bioburb switch off the Raster. That's very important. Very yeah. good knowledge. So see how this goes right now. And I know Sego has a lot of characters in the holster as well, so. I was saying this earlier, I really like the way Seth um, Seth makes it a point to take time to charge needles. Like, you see a lot of characters with the uh, poison needles, like a uh, needle mechanic, who kind of like only charge needles every once in a while uh, when they feel like they really need to. But Seth always makes it a point to at least have one or two needles ready. It's so, with Sheik and the other game with needle, they go straight in a straight line. It's just yeah. straight line, bah, 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 bah. With uh With Rando, you still get one needle, but it's a shotgun blast kind yeah. of, where it just goes one angle up, one down, and one middle. So it's very better to have that needle's charge on Rando than any other needle type character, because you'll cover more. And if it's something like catching ledge, you're catching all the options. Yeah, exactly. So, so we'll see. Uh, Right now, we've got, uh, wait, when in the world did Seth take a stop? Early on, he made a, he made a force SD. I was looking at the game and I don't even remember that. Yeah, but good back air, good forward air coming out. Good more needles, look at that, the shotgun blast, and especially if you're super close, you're getting more uh, needles on deck, so more points of damage is gonna be up online. Yeah. And that's a tick fast, especially like a fast character like Rana, who's always pressing buttons. Eh, Rana, so faster. does it, it does it tick whenever you're doing hitting. an attack? When you, whenever you attack? So it's whenever you have, you always have at least, if you have at least one poison, anytime you do an attack, no matter if it hit or whiffs, you will take 1% for every attack. If it hits, you still take one, but you get rid of the needle, you okay. get rid of the counter. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So. Especially like a character who like Raster, it'd be a four, he has to get four hits to make it back. Okay, I see, I see. And if it's like a combo like that, you're taking about 4% per, like on your own, especially if you're throwing out moves like forward air and up air. You're taking a good percent, like in that short interaction, he had two on him, he took 10% for that, so. I loved that right there. Went for the back air, whiffed it, but it, uh, didn't whiff it, but hit the soft hit of it, then made Sego kind of panic a little bit in order to get that forward air. Really like that coming out from Seth. Yeah, good bubble to recover as well. Grind recover low right here. Makes it back through the up till. That was scary. But try using the needles well, but you're gonna die to the Ooh, back yep, throw up air. Go. Up smash right there. Unfortunate to see, but we have our last stock scenario, and this is really the tone setter right here. Yeah, so we're gonna see here, what are we gonna able, be able to do here? This first game is going to be really, really important going into this. It's gonna be a lot of momentum in someone's favor, and right now, Sego is on the prowl. Yeah, you make that back. You're right out, you're fine. Yeah. Good, good punish. Almost got the order out of it too, but you have those bubbles on deck, and look at that extra just whiffing it options, and it's just gonna do a lot of damage right there. Another 8% from poison. Yeah, it adds up quick. Yeah, it's only 1%, but after a while, that starts to really add up. And now this is where Seth really kind of makes his money, where you're trying your best to fight back against him, and he is just tech chasing you. He is picking you apart. He's in and out. Really good stuff. But Sego finally being able to answer back. Yeah, he 
that going as well. And Seth trying to find another opening right here, but Psycho's being a little bit too loose right now. That shield pressure was really good. The weak oh. back hit and air gonna put him back into that advantage state right here. Trying to prevent Psycho from making it back, but good attack on the down throw right there. Tricky attack they get, but the Woo. Delta Wing Dash up smash is gonna take that first set right there. Yeah, good stuff to Seth making a very strong case for himself in this game number one. But we're gonna hop into game number two here. Um, let's see here. How are we? Uh, how, how does Sego adapt? How does Sego get the uh, get something something new going? You know. I don't know. He's still sticking out the raster though, so that's still important to notice. Just yeah. still sticking it out. So I don't know where this goes. Seth is doing a very good job of just letting not not letting the birds do anything. Just keep the birds in the cage. Yeah. So we'll see here. As we're uh, continuing on, Sego's doing a good job though, not allowing us. Uh, Sego's doing a good job here, not allowing Seth to uh, get too much started. You're dead. No, you're not. Yeah, good DI is going to keep Hill's it big. alive. Uh, but this is not good if you're Seth, man, because you uh, usually are kind of for kind of taking these, not taking the stocks quick, but doing a really good job at keeping the stocks uh, a little bit more even, but Sego is just kind of not allowing this to happen. Yeah, and good spacing in the down where they're running just a little bit out of the range and trying to get a punch on him, but not getting anything too big. And Seth is playing a lot more patient than usual, just trying to find trying to find the real opening, trying to get something started, because you're down on good amount, and you're down on stock right now. Did they get something cooking or get something back in the works? Yeah, really, really good stuff coming up. It's like they're able to take that stock uh, pretty commandingly too. But I mean, Seth isn't out of it, you know? He's doing his best. He got that, unable to get that uh, kind of hard hitting sweet spot, uh, unfortunately for him, but is able to continue the combo, putting uh, Sego back off stage. Got two ticks of poison on him, so you gotta be careful, man. You hit twice, and that poison's still adding up. You started at 90, and you're now at 120 in dead because of it. Yep. So. We're down to zero, we're down to two stocks, and this is where Randall thrives at 0%, just getting all the damage, but getting the poisons on deck as well. Woo. And that's already 60% online. Yeah, really liking it. Here's the Seth that we've known from before, able to rack up a quick 67%. It is going to keep it going, only 30%. He's sitting basically unanswered at this point. Gotta keep it up, man. Almost got the up smash that would have killed that would have been really good damage. You have max needles online. So you, if you can get a side B or a bubble or anything like that, but the damage is still adding up. The multi hits coming in clutch or master getting rid of that poison quickly. That's what you love to see. And the Edgar coming out too. Not going to get anything much. Never mind, got stuck. Yep. A stuck uh, through the down air. Good stuff coming up from Sego. Able to kind of steal that away. He was really behind for a minute there, but S Seth is not phased by this. No, no, absolutely not. He knows he's still in the game. He still has a chance to let the game isn't over until you see that victory screen. So he knows he has a chance to make it back right here. And the yep. forward air is going to take it. And now we're back to another last stock scenario. Pretty much 0%. Yeah. This, these games have been going pretty fast here. The two of them going back and forth, back and forth. Can we see what these two have to offer? Right now, it's kind of, it's Sego, you know, getting the percent, allowing things to, uh, allowing, uh, allowing himself to dictate the pace of the game. But I mean, that poison is racking up a lot of damage right now, man. You might want to be careful. And this advantage ain't going wild, bringing up to 90% right here. That poison's still counting as well. So Rano can, not Rano, Seth can really end this at any time if he really wants to. Yeah, this has been a really scary point to be in if you are Sego. Keeps tacking on that poison damage, doing his best. Like the forward air, unable to kill just yet. But hey, we're keeping it moving. Able to get the poison off of him. Good stuff coming out from Sego. Can Seth continue to push it? Is Seth going to take this? Because right now, it's looking like Sego is just barely outside of reach for this first, for the game number two. Seth is at the percent where if Sego gets a grab, you're dead. But there's, but Seth has to find some type of air to really get something going. The down smash is going to do it, and that Whoa. back air and up smash is going to take it. We've actually opened up Xbox Command Center, <laughs> and that's how you know it's a good game right there. Yeah, really solid gameplay all around from both of them. Really like that. Let's see. I really, that was really good. That was really yep. good. I was talking about, you just need one confirm from Razor, and you would have died. Yep. So. That's, that's the difference between Rando, Rando has to like nickel and dime you to get that percent. Oh, wow, Razor's just, all right, you get the percent, you get that 100%, I have to get land one hit to con to convert something else or one grab, that's it. Right, 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 right. So we'll see here as we continue on. Um, 
uh, for the rest of this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this for a while. Ooh, I, I like love that. that. I oh, love tongue. I what? I love tongue movement. <laughs> I love the tongue movement coming out from Zep there and able to kill can firm into an up smash. Really good stuff, Zep taking a really early first stock. Very early first stock right there, indeed. And that's gonna be that's such a tone setter for Seth. Just like, all right, I lost that game game two by nail biter, but I got it. Yeah, I got it in lock, and he's gonna sh keep showing that as well by just keeping his extra credit going as well. Something that I need to see less of coming up from Seth is these whiff up smashes. I'm seeing a lot. No, of I do not blame him for whiffing. The, it's it sucks that he's whiffing him, but that move is so good and does everything for you. I do not blame him for going for it. I don't blame him for going for it, but I mean it's starting to get a little predictable because we saw there Sekub is able to off the whiff up smash actually um, get back to Sage and confirm into a kill. So it's, yeah, it, it's it's a double edged sword because the move is very good. Don't get me like wrong. That. I can tell. You're the dead. move is very very good, <laughs> but when it whiffs it. Whiffs. It really whiffs, but he's been doing a really good job of whiffing it in spots where Psycho is not able to do that much. So, but the 4 4 there is to bring you up oh almost to 60%. God. That full tick of poison, putting him in the bubble for so long, and I love the fact that Seth is always ready for the slipstream to come out and breaking it before he can actually get started. And right here, and this is where it's looking dangerous for Sego. You're at 86, you're at that percent. We're offside. We saw offside's kill at 90 earlier. Yeah. So you gotta be extra careful that catches the roll in with Ooh, the downside. There it is. And there it is. Taking game number three by a two stock lead. Really, really good stuff coming out from Seth there. Really showing just, just dominance, man. Just dominance coming out through that that entire thing. All right, Aramada, this is a very good stage. Yeah. Very good stage for Psycho. Uh, notice notice how many stages and rivals have walls for the stage below. Yeah. And able to tech. This has no walls. Oh. It's just the ship. You have this little space on the left and right to tech, yeah, but yeah. below that, there's nothing. Nothing else. So if you can definitely cheese out people with Raster, and you get the down strong off the stage, you don't have anywhere to go. You're right. just dead. Yeah. So I see. I, I like the stage choice. The stage is also very big. Yeah. And uh, but it seems to me that uh, Seth is having a lot more fun on the stage than uh, than Sego is. I don't know. It's pretty close. Also, these platforms move, which is also very important for uh, restaurants and. Raster and a uh, random, very importantly. Yeah, so. yeah. He's got the up smash right there. Not gonna get it. Good grab. Good up air. Try to go for the four strong and up strong. There it is. And that's gonna kill off the top right there. Yeah. A little bit for DI, I feel like. Yeah, good stuff on uh, Sego being able to catch that. And yeah, it kind of looked like Gordy died. I wasn't sure if it was gonna kill it or not. But also, I played this game like that. That's gonna kill, though. That's for sure gonna. He, he died at 98. Yep. He died at 98 after the hit. Rando school. He got that. You know what? Actually, st don't stop lifting up Smash. Nah, Rando's balanced. Keep gambling. Yep, keep gambling. Keep gambling. But right now, we're just playing the neutral right here, and that poison tick is going to do a little percent right there. Keeping it, keeping the threads close, but not doing too much. And right now, Sego's doing a lot better than last game. Yeah, he is. Doing a lot better now. And I mean, hey, maybe the stage choice is really working out for him, um, because it, it feels like it is. It's a very good stage for Rester. Good down tilt, bringing it back to neutral right here. It's up three starts above you, so you're not gonna get too much out of it though, but good forward, but couch cancels out of it, so you wouldn't get a follow up on that, but that's strong. Not gonna kill just it did not get the sweet spot. And needle, just one shot of needles is destroying the tornado, and that's something that's just just good awareness from Seth. Just like, alright, now tornado's coming out, just pop, get rid of it. Not dealing with it. Yeah, and I love these grabs coming out from Sego there, or from Seth here. He is always the first to pop the grab. Always the first to pop the grab because he knows that he's gonna get so much off. Good dash attack, not gonna get anything out of it. Down tilt, four strong, and you're not gonna die. Not the str not the sweet, not the sweet spot right there. Tongue get back in the that was such good movement. Using the tongue wall jump to get back with the forward air, and you're still safe no matter what. That was so good. Yeah, and able to get a forward air confirm off the down tilt. Good stuff. Now this could be uh, the way Seth sends Sego down to his last stock here, but he's gotta find something. The forward air is gonna kill. So now we've got a little bit of a more desperate Sego because you gotta find this stock quick. It's on the quick before the needle comes up or the poison damage starts ticking, and that's gonna be really hard on such a loose frog right here. And there's already two ticks of poison on deck. Yeah, two ticks of poison on deck already. Now we got, uh, it's going to stay at two ticks for a little bit here because Seth is not letting up. No, absolutely not. Good recovery. And good grab. Up smash to bring it out. 
And that's still another two ticks on deck. And that's still gonna get that Pamit. That's extra credits adding up very quickly. Good air dodge. Oh. Dodging the tra aerial strong right there. Such good awareness for that as well. Yeah, and now you're stuck in the bubble, able to charge out a few more uh, poison darts. Really good stuff. And Set is a shark in the water, prowling right now against this bird of uh, this bird of prey. Double needle to come out using the platform to cancel the needle as well. A smash coming out, not gonna kill just yet. One of the few times it doesn't kill at 90, but the four max dart max darts on deck along with the poison too. So if you get one hit, one bubble, Woo! put the upsell on the four strong, so I'll take that stock, and it looks like it's gonna be Seth's game to run away with. Sego managing to finally close out a stock there, but it doesn't matter. Another confirm into the up smash. Fantastic stuff from Seth, clocking in his ticket to grand finals loser side. Yeah, and beating Seth.